how to outwit a pack of wolves. The philosopher says there isn't a fiddler on the roof. The astronomer says the universe is everything but silence. The priest says this world is a broken violin. The poet asks why there's an echo of people apologizing to themselves, asks if love and apologies are worth doing if you can't do them right, asks if there are bunnies in the stars or if it's just a trick of the light, asks if the stars look back at us or if it's all just death up there, asks why people keep buying mood rings if it just reacts to the heat in our hands. The poet asks why people need a ring to tell them how they feel. Asks why a heart can break in the time it takes to eat an olive. Asks why a heart can even break in the first place. The human heart has four cavities, the left and right ventricle and the left and right atrium. The human heart has four cavities, but the poet asks how much pain does one endure before they pull it out like a sick tooth like love was never meant to make a home there. The poet asks why faulty kisses are worldwide, and if they aren't, the poet asks why they are the recipient of one too many faulty kisses. Asks if love is velvet bones and strawberry stained lips. Asks what sweet, soft lips can teach us. The poet asks what happens to your lips if you never get to say I love you. Asks what happens to art if it never gets to hear I get you. The poet asks if there's a way not to fall in love on a midnight walk. Asks what are the moral implications of giving someone butterflies in their stomach. And if the fog doesn't rise, where do all our bad dreams go? The poet asks if you can belong to another before learning how to love them. Asks if they will belong to another when they learn to unlove them. The poet asks if poems are all they're good for What's the point of writing them? The poet asks, what's the point of writing them?